guys, Shane Stars with DroidMotorX.com, and as many of you know, Ubuntu Touch, the preview version, has been officially released. It was actually released a couple weeks back, and I personally have not had a chance to really play with it, um, but I finally decided to go ahead and download the ROM onto my Galaxy Nexus, and you can also run, there's an official version for the Galaxy Nexus GSM variants, there's an official build for the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 10. Um, as well as the Nexus 4. So if you have any of those devices, uh, this is not the guide to follow. Uh, I'll have a separate guide for that later, but this is specifically for the Verizon CDMA. Uh, as you guys know, it has been ported, but it is not official from Canonical just yet. So, with all that said, I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to install Ubuntu Touch to the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. So the first thing you want to do is head to the link just below the like button um, and then that'll bring you to a page, the forum post, where you can grab both the Toro Touch Zip and also uh, the other file which is needed. It is the Quantel pre-installed Fablet file. So you'll grab both of those files and then we're going to go ahead and power down the device and boot into recovery. So in order for this to work, you'll have to be running a custom recovery, Clockwork Mod is fine, or Team Win Recovery Project. Either one of those will be fine. Once you're powered down, you'll go ahead and hold both volume buttons and the power button. And then you'll scroll up to recovery mode and select that. That'll boot you into Team Win Recovery Project. So as you may well know, this is strictly a developer preview. Uh, most of the stuff in this is not even functional. Uh, so it's definitely, not a it's definitely not a daily driver by any means. Uh, so my suggestion is to go ahead and make a backup. So you'll want to go to backup and swipe to backup. Make sure that you do have a complete Android backup so that you can easily get back to where you were. You will not be able to use Ubuntu Touch Preview uh, as a daily driver at all. So then from there we'll go ahead and do our wipe. So we'll wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe. And go back, cache, swipe to wipe. Dive it, cache, swipe to wipe. And then we'll do our installs. So first we'll install this Toro Ubuntu.zip. And this one should install pretty quickly. The second file that we're going to install actually takes several minutes. Okay, so that one took literally just a couple of minutes. And so from there we'll go back. And we'll install the second file, the Quantal pre-installed Fablet. And swipe to flash. Now this one should take, you know, up to 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll just kind of set this to the side. And as soon as it comes back, we will boot into Ubuntu Touch on the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. Okay, guys, so after a more realistically five minutes, it actually went on ahead and installed Ubuntu. So we'll go ahead and reboot the system now, and this will boot us into Ubuntu. All right, guys, so that is it. It just kind of booted into Ubuntu. We didn't have any fancy boot animation or anything like that. It just booted up to the notification screen. Um, but anyhow, guys, I'm going to have a full review of Ubuntu Touch Preview for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, this has been the installation guide for the Ubuntu Touch Preview on the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the near future. Uh, also, be sure to check me out at droidmotorx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. And follow me on Twitter at droidmotorx. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.